we're back, people, and today we're bringing down film on Emmanuel Ogba, defensive end for the Miami Dolphins. Look at him at the point of attack here. This play is just kind of embarrassing for the offensive lineman, honestly, because we'll watch this more slowly. Gets engaged. Good initial hand placement in control. He's two gapping here. Extends those hands, extends those hips. And then once he lifts the alignment up to get control, he accidentally lets go with his right hand, gets too high. But look at his force to push and then pull with his left hand to just toss the alignment aside with one hand like that. That is just powerful at the point of attack. Really good stuff here from Ogba. And then gets into his gap and then makes that tackle right there at the line of scrimmage. Um, he's more, I would say, known for his pass rushing ability since he's joined the Dolphins, but he's always just been a solid, solid run defender. We're going to get through this quickly because I already recorded the whole video and then realized I didn't hit the record button. So let's get right into this. Just a nice little power turn here from Ogba. Force the O-lineman to open up those hips right there. Stays in his lane, which he's definitely taught as a Miami Dolphin. Takes a good angle, gets in there. Good hand placement. And then use that power to push him back and open up his right shoulder, his right hips. Get him to open up that gate. And then create that subtle separation right at the end by extending just enough with his power. And then a lot of force to punish the quarterback. Felt a little bad for Ian Book when I watched this game live because <laughs> it was his first game. And he was just getting punished by this Dolphins defense. Not a good defense to face for your first game with how aggressive they could be. But yeah, making O-Lyman look silly with many different ways. He has a very good pass rush repertoire. Um, and this is just one of them, his power turn move. And he's very good at finishing these sacks, as you'll see throughout this video and if you've ever watched Agba play. He's very, very good with his hands pass rushing. Good job using that two-hand swipe. Get that left hand down, and it ends up kind of not sure what the right tackle is doing here, but gets knocked over with the right shoulder. But works this two-hand swipe to the rip. He only shows his outside hand here, so he swipes down that outside hand, only gets one hand, and then works into the rip, knocks the old lineman off balance, and then just throws his shoulder into him and... Wins this rep instantly to the outside and finishes again. Just like I said, very physical at the point of attack. Can win in many different ways, whether it be now we've seen the two-hand swipe. Definitely a guy that likes to win off the edge, not using speed to beat you to the outside. But he's not the type of guy that will use a lot of counters to get you to the inside. Just likes to use his length, get control, stay in his pass rush lane, and then finish on the quarterback for sacks when he has the opportunity. A very good rep against the run again for Ogba. This time, resetting the line of scrimmage versus 74. Just creates this instant penetration to the backfield. Two yards deep into the backfield. Powerful at the point of attack by resetting that line of scrimmage. And now he's set the edge. The running back's definitely not going to bounce to the outside. He can feel the momentum of the running back. It's going to come back to the inside. Tosses the alignment aside. Back to the inside once he sees the running back commit. And then helps makes this tackle for loss. Um... And he also helped his D lineman get there by setting this edge. Good job feeling the flow of this play instantly. And by resetting the line of scrimmage, he doesn't have to play the outside shoulder of the alignment to be forced. He can force the coming back to the inside with how much penetration he created instantly from his positioning. Nice versatility here from Ogba to see him lining up versus these guards. Guards cannot hang with him with his length and athleticism that he possesses. Um, they're just not matched up for this type of player, but he can play on the inside because he's pretty good against the run from this spot. Won't get overpowered. Uses his length here. Gets engaged. Good job using that right hand to extend. Push and then pull. Toss the alignment to, away from him. Just gets him to open up. And then Tyrod <laughs> trips and falls. Probably would have got the sack anyways because he has a nice little closing burst to him once he has that lane free rush on the quarterback. So yeah, good stuff here for Magba. Good hand usage. Good job using the own momentum and leverage of their own lineman against them. And I love the versatility that he brings, that he can line up inside and take advantage of these guards, but then also can stand up and beat tackles off the edge with some athleticism and pass rush moves, and then can beat guards to the inside with length, athleticism, uh, using leverage, hands, whatever you need. He can beat you in many different ways. Just a very, very violent outside chop here from Ogba. Just look at him beat that outside hand, chop down. That is Violent at the point of attack. This is what they teach. He has heavy hands the way he plays. Violent outside chop and takes the O-lineman just off balance. It gets him to stop him in his feet, stops him in his tracks. And then he goes for the strip sack, doesn't get it, but 
He's willing to make these plays. As I've been saying, he finishes these sacks. That's what he does. If he has a chance, he's going to get there. He also is pretty good at getting his hands up when he's not making an impact on the play for the sacks. But just look how violent that hand is. He doesn't even have perfect placement. But just with how violent, heavy, strong he is at the point of attack, he's able to affect the lineman. Gets him to stop his feet and then wins off the edge. Points his hips right towards the quarterback. Really good stuff from Agba. Another two-hand swipe here work from Agba off the edge. Good job feeling what the O-lineman's doing. He's not firing out of stance. Not like vertical setting versus him here based on his positioning, his alignment. Sees him show hands early. So he's going to go for that two-hand swipe. Gets it. Keeps his chest clean. Has the outside track. He's won the rep right here already. Rips. Is able to get the angle to the quarterback. He uses his body well too. So he doesn't get just flushed out, forced out behind the QB. Just maintains his rush lane and finishes again. I've been saying it all video. He is a finisher. But yeah, really good stuff here. Swipe those hands away. He always keeps his chest clean. Does a really good job of staying clean. And that's why he's so valuable to the Miami Dolphins defense. He's just that perfect scheme fit. Everything that you really want. And he's kind of their been their big playmaker when it comes to making sacks in the backfield getting these strips in these areas i think phillips is going to very develop and help in that area but agua has been really helping carrying the team for the past couple years ever since he joined he's been a very pleasant pleasant surprise with that contract he first signed with the dolphins last play that i wanted to break down for agba just an ideal rep forcing setting the edge extending those hips extend the arms stack shed Pretty much ideal wins with leverage gets control just dictating the snap uses that right arm to keep his chest clean he knows he has the length advantage nice little nuance here to turn that o-lineman and then once he has complete control of his gap sees the o-line or the running back is going to come off the back of the o-lineman understands that then sheds uses that right arm with a lot of force look at the, what he does to the o-lineman here just by shoving with his right arm that is power that is violent, heavy hands at the point of attack. Really good play from Agba. He's that perfect scheme fit that you look for. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.